just left Coral Bay in St. John, and we're making our way to Little Buck Island in St. Thomas. We were on our way to Charlotte Amali when we saw the bright blue water in the cove and decided to stop over for a few days. Four years ago, we bought a salvage sailboat. After purchasing her, we discovered extensive fiberglass rod and took on a project that was much bigger than we expected. But now, we've moved on to Wicked full time and it's time to enjoy the fruits of our labor. Follow along and consider becoming part of our journey as we fill our sails with wind and give Wicked a second life. Buck Island National Wildlife Refuge, also known as Little Buck Island, is a remote island located about two miles south of the island of St. Thomas in the United States Virgin Islands. The refuge is characterized by a thorn scrub habitat with rocky coastlines surrounded by reefs. A lighthouse that stands over 45 acres of cactus and grassland is still maintained by the United States Coast Guard. The island is a refuge because of its value for migratory birds. The islands are surrounded by a coral reef habitat and an artificial reef, a shipwreck. The marine area is also home to a variety of fish and animals, in particular endangered sea turtles. We have special guests flying in, and we are hoping they help us break our bad luck with catching lobster. We wasted no time and jumped right in and began our hunt. We spotted two lobster, but they were too small. In the U.S. Virgin Islands, you can catch two per person, per day, year round. And the lobster body has to be three and a half inches long. So, we did some sightseeing before continuing our search elsewhere. We did it! We caught our first lobster. A little small, but still big enough and not quite enough to go around, but we made it work. Thanks, Linton Matt, for your company. You were our first guest, caught our first lobster together, and you broke the curse. Now that our guests have left, it was time to really settle in to our new life on the water. Not having a set location to call home is new to us. It gives a sense of freedom but at the same time can feel insecure. We get used to taking comfort in familiar places and life just becomes 
very routine. And we've just given all that up. And it's kind of scary, but in a very exciting way. We're headed out to hang out with a sailing channel we've watched since his very first episode, Chasing Grace. He's currently doing daily vlogs, so you should definitely go and check them out. We saw him pull into Charlotte Amali Harbor, and he and his girlfriend invited us over to Grace to grill. He's never had his own boat in the USVIs, so we decided to show him one of our favorite spots to hang out and he showed us how to use our halyard to rope swing and then we headed over to Christmas Cove to grab a pie at the famous Pizza Pie VR. So Christmas Cove is not, it's not our lucky spot for anchoring. The first time we anchored here, I let go of all the chain. And now this is the second time we're anchoring here. And the windlass was just letting out chain without me even pressing the button. And now it won't pick up or drop the chain. And we don't have, ah, Matt fixed it. This guy's following me. I just got Slow motion so it's doggy paddles. You only need one paddle at a time. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, boss. Anyone else want to present? Um, and I think I'll do a Rico Suave. Do you see that, TJ? Do you see the blue stripe on him? Whoa, my foot. It was time to head our separate ways. One tends to make quick, genuine friendships on the water, as you only spend a short time together and don't really know when you'll see each other again. It's also a wild world out there, so you never know when you're gonna need a hand from a fellow sailor. This is our friend Ray. Matt's very good friend from high school. Any crazy idea Matt had from moving in with his girlfriend at 18 years old, me, buying a motorcycle at 19, crazy, to buying, rebuilding, and sailing the world on a sailboat with no experience, even more crazy, this was the guy he called. Basically Matt's fourth brother. He's got a lot of brothers. We showed Ray what we recently learned aboard Grace, and he was hooked. We brought Ray over to one of our favorite spots in St. John to snorkel, dive, and look for kunk. Even though it's not kunk season, it's a great reef to explore. I gave him my fins and the camera to capture the reef from his perspective.
Join us next week as we take Ray and our new friends to see Annenberg Sugar Plantation in St. John. And we run into our fair share of boat issues. The engine saga continues. Our motor was overheating. We said we never wanted to do it, but here we are. Also, tune in next week to see how I get us out of this one. If you made it this far, I f*** with you. Babe, you can't say that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when we upload our next video. And we're on Patreon. Join us over there. Bye.